How you doing? I'm Dave Reinhold. Today I want to show you guys 2P10. Um, I haven't been using this very long, a little over a year, um, but I, I, I can tell you that I don't know why I waited this long to use it. I've seen so many other guys, I've seen demos, I was always afraid because it dried so fast, what am I going to use it for? I can always glue and nail. Once I started using this, I'm gluing everything together. You know, the prep time, building it down on the ground and bringing it up in one piece is amazing. I do a lot of kitchen installs where everybody's choosing white. So limiting my nail holes is awesome. And being able to build something tight on the ground and bring it up in one piece, saving so many trips, is, it's amazing. And so I want to show you guys 2B10 and how it helps me. Um, here it is in a caddy. You can get it in the caddy or without a caddy. You get the act activator. It's got a nice little spot for it and the glue. I choose the uh, gel. There's a thin, medium, thick, and the gel. I like the gel, doesn't run. And uh, you can put it all in this caddy. It's got a little belt clip if you wanted to use it. I couldn't imagine walking around with it on my hip, but it's there. Um, you could store the bottle upside down on this needle, but uh, I don't. I just throw the cap on there. It's got some other storage pieces for your different tips if you like to use the different tips. I, you know, I just tend to just use it as is. There's a little reservoir down here, and you can use like a little acid brush if you wanted to, but again, just use it like this. <clears throat> it dries in like 10 to 30 seconds, depending how old it is. Booty of this glue is like, it's cold here in Jersey. It's maybe 20 degrees out right now. This has been in the truck, and it works. So I haven't had any issues with it, you know, with the temperature. It says, you know, store in a cool place below 70. I've stored it in the truck in summer, winter. I haven't had any issues with it, so it seems like it's a really nice glue for those type of applications. One of the areas that, you know, we're doing stuff in the cabinets is scribe moldings. We got to do a return, like <clears throat> this little tiny returns, and you know, trying to nail them and wait for the glue to dry. You know, always stunk. So, with the 2P10, I could just spray one half with the activator, find the right return piece. Be very careful because the glue doesn't really dry very fast if you put just glue to wood, but it will bond instantly to your skin, and they do make a debonder. So we'll grab a little bit of the gel. We'll just put a little bit on there. I keep it kind of off the face in case it squirts out. And we can just glue this right together. And you line up the fronts, roll it back. This is a little older, so I do get a little more play time than if it was brand new. Hold it there, we're done. That return is on there. So again, we can do the other side. Keep it off the face. One of the things though, if it does ooze out, don't wipe it with your finger because you will be stuck. So we do have a little ooze out here. So one of the ways I've, you know, to clean that up a little bit is it is damp right now. So some, if you spray it with the hardener, it's, it's done and dry and you can kind of pick it off or you cut it off with a knife. So you just spray it with the activator, it hardens right away and you're not going to stick your fingers to it. So that's like putting it on the pre-finished white, you know, scribe moldings, gluing these ends on real fast. No nails are required. Now I can, you know, either glue it or just, you know, 23 gauge pin nail to the cabinet and not so many nail holes. <clears throat> that's one of them. We're going to take this out of the way. Another one is when I'm doing crown. Again, I like to pre I like to measure, cut all my pieces, I'll dry fit them see how they're working and I can bring them right down onto the ground onto my table and put it all together so we'll start we'll spray and we can do one piece at a time or you can do multiple pieces we'll spray some activator on those put the gel again keeping it towards the back so I try to lose so I don't get a lot of ooze out in the front and if we do we can spray it and pick it off, but line it up, bring it right together, hold it, done. Go to the next one. We already sprayed that side with activator. Let's spray this other half. So we're ready. Put some of the gel on there. 
You got an outside 22.5. These are the easier ones. You kind of just line up your points and roll it right in. Hold it. Done. And we'll do this one here. A little 2P10. Down away. Roll it right in. Boom. So, and there we go. We just did this crazy mitered section. We got a little bit of glue out on that. We can spray it. <coughs> and then, like, you know, sometimes I take a utility knife and you can just kind of chip it away. You can kind of see it just flaked off right there. And we can clean that up real nice if you wanted to. I haven't had any issues with it discoloring any of the wood one to spray. Definitely try the activator on a piece of scrap wood. Make sure it doesn't have anything with the finishes. But I haven't had any issues with it. And boom, we could take this up and, and mount it and be done in one piece. It's awesome stuff. When I first used it, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I sent an email off to, to FastCap. I was like, holy crap, why did I wait so long to use this stuff? I couldn't believe it how fast, how easy it was to use. You just got to get over that fear of assembling on the ground because once you start doing this, assembling it on your bench and carrying it up, your miters will be so much tighter. There's no more nails. You know, you can sand this stuff comfortably down here, not over your head. So you can do everything down here where it's comfortable for you. Bring it up in one thing, a couple of little pins, and you're good to go. It's crazy. It works well. I think everybody's going to love this stuff. Give it a try. Order it with the caddy. It's pretty cool. You know, you can store everything in there. Walk in the job. Boom, you're ready to rock and roll. So I'm Dave Reinhold. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, go out and try this 2P10 if you haven't already. If you have, you're going to know that this stuff is killer and works like a charm. So I'm Dave Reinhold. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks.